everybody, it's Nintendo vs Sega, I'm here, and this is a type of uh, recording, I'm, by the way, I'm training up a Zangus with Toxic Boost, long story. Uh, anyway, uh, what was that? You were probably asking, I have absolutely no idea, and I'm extremely sorry for that. Okay, I'm, I'm done with that. Let's see, do I have any battle requests? Anyway, so, basically, this is the, uh, um, how I'm rigging up everything when I'm recording battle videos so you can see both screens. Um, today I just want to show you probably the most epic comeback ever. Seriously, it is probably the most epic comeback ever. If I get a challenge, I'll just probably do that. But I'm not, I'm telling you the truth. It is really cool uh, in a comeback way. Uh, it, it, oh, sorry for the lines. Right there. I, sorry. Uh, but basically, this comeback was a pretty good comeback. Um, sorry, I don't have a stylus. I, I need to buy a new stylus. I really do. God, I need to stop moving again. I have it in a certain position, and I keep on trying to move it to make it look a little bit better, but all I'm really doing is screwing it up. And I had this a while ago. By the way, tomorrow I'm going to be fighting the Lorenzo 522 for, like, a lot of like a lot of battles. This is the video! And this is a UU versus OU match. Uh, not exactly UU, it has um, three OUs in it and uh, three UUs. Uh, Blaziken, this one is a UU set even though it's a Mega because it does not have any really good Mega moves except for Protect and uh, Flare Blitz. The other ones are Aerial Ace and uh, Brick Break. I got this from one of my friends. He said that it was a really good um, OU without it being Uber said, I don't know if that counts, but he said it was, so I don't know. I'll, I'll just go with what he was saying. Uh, Breloom is a must to have on this team, is because I have a major, major problem without having a uh, few Pokemon status because Rallying Canth can't take them all out. Long stories. Um, and Rodan doesn't really do much in this match. And truthfully, the all star is Breloom, and I'm just going to say this once Breloom should be Uber. Enough said. I can't tell whether this is crooked or not. I'm still trying to fix it. There we go. I'm going to be narrating it through. So let's get started. Okay, so my opponent's name is Cable. Uh, or, Ka or Cabal. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's Cable. Uh, oh, it could be Ka I don't know. Uh, Shalob. I wanted to kill this thing, point one. Uh, what I should have done was I should have Volt switched out. Because that would have really helped me conserve my Rotom. But since I'm a stupid, really, really stupid idiot, I decided to stay in and go for the Hydro Bomb. Of course it hits, but, you know, uh, he could have just gone up with the Energy Ball right there. And look at how much damage that does. Yes, I have the Citrus Berry, but it doesn't really matter. Because um, doing so much damage to a Rotom is really hard to recover from. Usually I do recover from it, but it takes a lot of time. And... At full health, I would have lived this. I'm telling you, at full health, I would have lived this. No problem, at full health, I would have. But of course, I'm an idiot. And again, I just goof, like, really badly right here. He Mega Balls. Moonblast. I have taken a Moonblast from many Gardevoirs that have modest natures. I just need to be at full health. That's the only one thing. If I had Volt Switch out and brought up my Blaze again, I could have protected for his turn and then gone for the Flare Blitz. Then Flare Blitz would have done like half to this uh, thing and I could have been able to live off Moon Blast. I'm kidding guys, but seriously, it, it would have played out a little bit differently and I would have been able to keep my special wall. And a Shadow Ball is not going to be able to kill us because I usually run Choice Specs as well, but this time I'm running Focus Sash because back then Focus Sash seemed like a better idea. And it worked out right here because I'm not max speed up for some reason. I'm like don't have a nature for speed. This thing must be a timid or something. Or modest. I, I don't know. I don't have good speed. I have bad IVs for speed. Uh, anyway, so my asshole goes down. Uh, I believe it's like um, an impish nature. Yeah, it's probably an impish. Uh, not impish. Um, what's it? Brave. Is it brave? Uh, low attack, high defense. Yeah, it's brave. It's brave. Um, no, it's bold. Bold is um, low attack, high defense. Sorry. Anyway, so I force a switch on right there because he doesn't want to take more damage on it. Because uh, that's kind of his win condition because I'm pretty sure he carries energy while he just didn't want to show it, predicting me to switch into Blaziken. 
Actually, I'm almost 100% sure I carried an energy ball. So, my running cast, maybe how I don't know what he was thinking right there. He, he wanted to switch. I thought it was his win condition, but then I realized my rolling cast would be a really nice round. Of course, I'm an idiot and decide to stay in. And I wouldn't have to stay in if my Rotom were still alive and I could just Thunder Wave it and then go for a Thunder on it. Yeah. I, I don't think I've played this bad in a while. Anyway, so the speed boost takes effect, blah, 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 blah. Go for the Brick Breakity Brackety, and that doesn't even do enough to kill it. And plus, he has a Citrus Berry. Why does it didn't do enough to kill it? It doesn't even do half on its own. It does about 25%, which is now deducted to 25% because he has a Citrus Berry. It, it just brings him back 25%. And I live the Scald, and I'm just like, yay! And then I remember I have Toxic. And then I'm just like, boo. But basically, that sucked right there, but it's fine because I'm going to be able to bring out my ninja house now. And ninja house puts in a lot of work. Uh, he doesn't necessarily attack. Of course, Breloom puts in the most amount of work, you'll see. And like I said, it's a comeback, so let's see who brings back the comeback. Okay, I've already said I do, but I was trying to make it a little bit, you know, suspicious. I don't know why. I, I don't know why it's suspicious. I don't know what I'm talking about at all. Okay, so he's gonna go straight for the Scald, and that's gonna totally break myself. I have no defense. Uh, just speed. Just speed. I'm, I'm thinking a plus one speed boost. It could outspeed a lot of Scarfers. I'm not kidding. Ninjaska's way too high speed. It takes forever to kill him. Anyway, should I protect? Uh, basically, I think I'm stalling. I'm not really stalling. There is a strategy to this. Uh, it just takes a while. This is, like, my first try at UU, and of course, you know, first tryouts never really work. And I grew up, and I grew to love Breloom more and more, and that's why he's, like, one of my favorite Pokemon now. I used to find him super annoying, but after this match, I'm starting to like him. Just a little bit. So, obviously, I could get up one more Protect. I'm babbling right now, because there's, tw there's six turns of me just doing this. So, I can obviously get up one more Protect, which is completely okay, I don't care. Uh, because even at plus four, Relic Camp will be able to outspeed. But, um, there's only one cash to this. And that's that I will not be able to get up to plus six. Um, which is great. Because if I got up to plus six, I don't think I would have made the comeback. That's a big deal. The catch is that if I got up to plus six, I would have lost. No doubt about that. If I got up to plus six, I would have lost. I don't know how I would have, I don't know how I would have gotten up to plus six, but I would have lost. No doubt about it. I would have lost. So, I'm going to go straight for the Head Smash. That does not kill. I am a choice banded. Max attack. Adamant. Oh my god, that thing is defensive. I must have gotten like crazy mid damage. But seriously, what is going on? I'm an adamant. Max attack. Max speed. I, I don't understand what just happened. Why, why, why didn't that kill? It should have killed. It's, I want to run counts, but honestly it didn't matter. It kind of mattered, but it really didn't. And that kind of killed any sweep I was about to do. And you're about to see how little damage I do with my Lodic. And it's a choice band, by the way. It's choice banded. So, yeah. That was a lot of damage. You see that, guys? It, it did way too much damage. You see, you see how much power that is? It's, like, overwhelming. The mo the My Lodic barely survived. So now I'm down to my last two Pokemon, and now I'm feeling a little bit discouraged. Because I think I can't win right now. I'm at the last two, and he recovers, and now I'm just like, yeah, the game is won. He wins the game. But obviously, since it's 41 turns, and we're only at turn 18, we're not even close to the end. But seriously, he pulled a really good game right here. But honestly, like I said, if I had gone for the sixth speed boost on the Relic Camp, I would have just lost. I'm not kidding. Uh, so he's just going to go for the <coughs> Scald. To, you know, just break through my subs. And then he realizes, oh my god, this is such a good way to send out a really, really powerful Pokemon. I think this turn he's about to do it. Yeah, this turn. He can send out an extremely powerful Pokemon. And that's Durant. It's a check to both of my remaining Pokemon. Now we're about halfway through it. And right here, the sweep starts to start. What? Sweep starts. 
Why did I say starts to start? What? Anyway, so, what am I, what am I talking about? He goes with a home clause, and that's terrible, is because now an X scissor will not only kill my Breloom, it'll kill it in less than probably a second, because Breloom has really bad defense. Uh, I don't know why Breloom is still OU. He's just awesome. And when I say I don't know why, when I did this battle, I didn't know why it was OU, because a lot of matches, Breloom didn't even do anything. And then I see the power of Breloom, and now I realize why it's OU. And I cannot judge. I'm at plus 5, I believe. I started at 18, and I'm ending at 23, so I'm at plus 5. Um, that's completely okay. Plus 5 minus 2 is because minus 2 is uh, from the sticky web. With the sub up, I'm at plus 3 Breloom. That's completely fine. And now I knew the only way I could win this match is if I get up to plus 6. Of course, plus 4 would have been fine, but I got a little bit greedy. But uh, plus 6 was kind of the only way I could really win. But then I didn't notice he had Life Orb. That means at plus 4 I would have been able to kill this thing. But at plus 4 I'm not sure whether it would have done so much damage to one of his Pokemon who are still remaining. Um, because at plus 4 I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have been a 2 hit KO. But at plus 6 it was a definite 2 hit KO. Anyway, so I'm, I'm saying spoilers. But it takes uh, like uh, 12 turns to completely get my Brillum going. And then when it gets going, he just gets powerful. Um... It just gets to be good. Uh, I need to get off one Swords Dance. I'm not really scared of him outspeeding me. He's going to have plus three. I swear if he had Rock Polish, which I know he can't learn, but suppose he did. That would just suck. He would just kill me on the spot. Uh, he wakes up after I get out the first Swords Dance, which is completely fine. But he's not a plus two. And he's losing more HP by the second because of Life Orb, um, which is great. It's amazing that uh, so much damage is being dealt. Um, this is a really long battle. I started at like, it's already 10 minutes. You could tell how long the battle took. Uh, it was a really close one. Back to back predictions, blah blah blah. So I'm gonna go for the sub again. And you know, within two turns I'm gonna be back to a decent range of health. Actually no, I'll be at full health. What am I saying? A turn from now, I'm gonna be at full health. Alright, I'm going to set up a Swords Dance, and that's going to totally just set me. So I'm now at plus four, which is amazing. And he wakes up again, and now you can understand how this match is going to be played. It's an ultimate stall fest. But I'm at plus four right now. I could have stopped right now, and it wouldn't have really, really mattered. I guess it may have mattered by one tiny bit, but I don't think it would have mattered that much. So I'm going to go for uh, another Spore. I just want to get up to plus six so I could just sweep uh, with my Breloom because um, I'm telling you, um, my ninjas can't do anything. He can't stall anymore because he's at one HP. So it's literally like I only have one more Pokemon left. So it's one Pokemon versus four. Think about that. And it's the last ten turns of the match. So it could only end in two ways. I make a giant misplay before the sweep happens and I just get killed by this Durant, or I do something awesome. And since this is called the ultimate comeback in Pokemon X and Y, you can tell which end is coming. Okay, so now basically only nine more turns, and it's starting to become... Uh, my opponent's starting to realize that the strategy I'm doing is starting to get a little bit risky. Um, so he's now going to try and... Um, well, what am I doing? What am I saying? He can't do anything right now. I outspeed the rest of his team unless he has some uh, choice scarfer. Which I don't think he has. And even if he does, uh, I have a sub up right now, so I don't think. So, basically, I have a sub up, and he's still asleep. And that sucks for him because three turns of sleep. Now, I he is at one. He lost one third of his health, which guarantees this facade to kill. Even though he resisted. It guarantees it. If he was at full health, he may have looted with like tiniest liver of health, and then we would have knocked him out next turn. But you see that Durant kind of just lost out a bit on um, fighting me. Uh, so now he's going to send out the Milotic. And I was actually surprised that my See this? I don't know what happened. There was a smudge. Uh, I don't understand what happened right here. It's Milotic. Oh, 
Oh, I understand now. It's mi it's mystic scale. It doubles his defense when he's. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, this thing lived it. It doubles his defense. That that makes a lot of sense. I was just like, how does that thing? This thing has to be the king of defense. But then I realized, oh my god, mystic scale. Okay, so I'm now an idiot. Ugh. <laughs> okay, this thing dies pretty easily. Out comes Cinderella, and um, you know, I'm just gonna. Sp mop the floor. I don't know why I went for the spore. I was still feeling kind of risky right here. And I said I'd go for spore on all of the remaining of his Pokemon. Which were only two left. Yes, Breloom takes it back. He does a really good job at taking it back at that, too. Uh, out comes a facade, though. And, uh, I don't know why... Uh, like I said, I don't know why I put it to sleep. He's obviously he had any priority. I guess I thought he might have sucker punch, but I don't know why. And plus, Sucker Punch would have, wouldn't have even killed because I have the sub up. And then I realized I have the sub up. I can easily just kill this thing in two hits. So, you know, I just decided to straight up go for the facade. And none of these things carry Focus Sash. If they do, and it goes for like a stupid Endeavor or something, I swear I'm just going to smack something. Alright, turn back to Focus. I'm sure time to quit focusing. Alright, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, press like. That was a really awesome battle in my opinion. And a really good comeback, um, it took some time to craft the whole plan, but it worked out at the end, and I'm pretty happy about that. So, as always, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you thought of the video, and, um, I hope you guys really liked this. I'm going to be posting much more. I have 84 videos left to show you. 83. Um, I'm about to have a battle video with Lorenzo522, so I'm going to have more battles coming. So, you know, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like battle videos, because I have a, I have a really weird one. It was a long one. It was like 36 turns just because this girl couldn't stop stalling. Because she knew she was going to lose otherwise. Anyway, so I might not show that. But basically, I have a lot of videos to show you guys. And I would love for you guys to come on the journey with me to have more of these awesome battles. Anyway, anyway I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, right, comment, press the like. Ah, I can't say my outro correctly. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, right, right cool, comment, or press like. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.